Okay, it started raining, so I can't really film anything outside right this minute. But I thought I would take you all over and say hi to Mama Duck. Way up here in the hay. And there's a drop-off edge along the hay pile. So I shoved a square bale back in there, hoping that in doing that, when the babies hatch, we won't wind up with babies falling down in that hole. Hi, Mama Duck. She's been doing a really good job of taking care of her babies. And actually the other day, there were two eggs kicked out of the nest and I candled them and neither one of them were very good. Um, she hasn't been coming off the nest quite as much either. And <laughs> if you watch her, she'll, she'll bite at me trying to protect her babies. So, I'm not going to disturb her too much, but I do want to count and make sure that there's only the amount of eggs that I've given her. There should be nine left. Um, I candled them a few days ago, and they were all fine. So, I'm going to check those really quick. It'll be easier if I put the camera down to do it. But she's doing an excellent job, and we are really hoping that um, the expected hatch date is right around Thanksgiving. So, we may have Thanksgiving Day duck babies. That would be so exciting. So there was nine under her, and I just very gently moved her, and then we'll just encourage her to go back. And it's really cool, too, because when she does come off the nest, um, <laughs> when she does come off the nest, she covers the eggs with feathers and hay uh, to keep it warm, the, the eggs warm while she is off foraging. And uh, chickens don't do that. I thought that was really cool. I don't remember if I mentioned that before, but... Uh, that she does that and see watch her she's pulling it over to snuggle her babies in but I'm gonna go ahead and let her be in finish uh, feeding everybody else out in the rain Ooh, it is cold and wet and rainy here folks um, so I got the barn chores done I was gonna do some uh, cleaning in the of all of my coops I didn't get it done because of the weather so um i'm gonna be probably working in the house most of the day doing some cleaning and my little man over there keeps crowing at me but i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what we've decided to do and it's not going to be right this minute but we're going to get quail <laughs> yeah we've jumped on the quail bandwagon so yes sir i hear you little mister that's tiny tim let me show you Damn, that's my little old English game hen, or game rooster, <laughs> and uh, he's being very talkative today. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. We jumped on the quail bandwagon. Um, several other people, YouTubers, as well as some other folks have told me that it's an awesome idea. So, um, I found a local breeder who I'm gonna be getting hatching eggs from. However, I'm not getting them right now. I don't wanna worry about uh, brooding them right this minute with winter coming on. Um, so I'm going to get them in probably like February, uh, late February. So that way I can go ahead and brood them. And then by the time we're getting more sunlight, then they will be laying eggs and we will be selling them at market. Um, I have a gentleman who sells, uh, my chicken eggs at farmer's market and he has already said that if i have duck eggs or if i decide to do the quail he's very interested in offering those to other to um, the customers as well um in addition to that i have a regular egg customer who buys eggs every week who um she's actually from russia and she wants to buy ah, sorry the i gotta get you a better light here so i'm not in the shade or shadow uh she wants anything and everything fresh. So if I start producing goat milk, she wants to buy the goat milk. She already buys eggs. She buys chicken eggs, duck eggs. And once the produce gets going, she's interested in that as well. So I'm already going to have, I don't even have quail, and I got two customers lined up. So I am super excited. Not to mention the fact that the turnaround on them and butchering them and just having those on the table, which will be a little variation from having chicken, will be really nice. So I'll show you what I've got so far um, in preparation for setting up for them. Sorry, there's, there's no light in this stall. Um, it's just storage. I've got hay and my critter cages for when I pick up animals. 
Um, believe it or not, I transport goats in that one. Uh, but this is going to be our quail cage to start. Um, and it's got a tray that I can remove and clean. And I'm going to have them in there brooding in there to begin with. And then there also is a metal um, rack. I mean, I think these can be used for rabbits. Um, is what they, I think the what original design for this one was. It's got a metal um, grate that goes across. It's got small holes in it. They'll be small enough that once the quail get a little bit bigger, they'll be um, able to be on that. So I'll have them on wire and then I can put branches and things in there for them to roost in. So they'll just, this will be for the initial set of quail that we um, we hatch out and then we'll probably, if, if we like it uh, and it's doing well, then we will of course at, um, build some additional cages. Um, I have the little quail water um, for when they're little um, and I'm gonna buy I was thinking about buying the little in anybody who has quail tell me what you think get the little uh, the, the little uh, cups the, the that you put on the bucket so I can just hang a bucket and automatic water them I'm just kind of curious about how that would work uh, so if anybody knows anything about um, how those work and um, you know, using those because I'm I, I don't want and all my waters are similar to this design that gravity fed design like that. Um, I also picked up a small bag of uh game bird feed and I'm looking on pricing feed so I can find the best place to pick it up, um, as well as having some shavings. And then I'll probably get either I'll probably get like some puppy pads or something like that for that first couple of days. So we're just right now it's just researching, learning, so we know how to properly care for them. I do have a heat light. Um, so we're so excited because they are so cute. Um, and from what everybody says, they just they lay like crazy and you know the eggs are delicious and um, you know, and, and then the bird themselves when you process them is also uh, extra yummy and very easy to uh, uh process. So we got kind of a quick video today, but I just wanted to give you guys that update that we are jumping on that quail bandwagon and we will be having um, those in the spring. So something to look forward to over the course of the winter. I'm going to head on back inside because it is cold out here. Um, get some cleaning done and I have got to get going on um, my uh, collaboration video that I'm doing. So y'all take care.